stay home. It could happen to anyone. Look, it happened to three people in New York. Oh, okay. How many people live there? Oh, yeah, eight million? We're fine. But that's how More it works. That's how lines on, the, <laughs> lines on the floor work. Because we go, oh, we just get scared. And we go, that must work. Why would they make that up? Why would they go to all the effort of putting that sign there if it didn't work? Obviously, it worked. It doesn't fucking work. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Brilliant. They didn't just put a sign up. They put shit on the floors. They put. <laughs> they know. They know. They, they how... went all out. <laughs> Re- there is nothing more nefarious, and I know from years of experience, like the the amount of psychology that goes into retail, and the the amount of manipulation that is used to the you know from lines on the floor to the like scents in the air to the. The way your eyes are directed by the fucking eyes on the cereal box and shit. It is evil yeah. shit. Brilliant. But evil. That's It's crazy. There's no getting around it. Uh, <laughs> I always assumed those cards worked, actually. I never thought to try it out myself. Yep. No, took it home. No problem. Well, I guarantee just because now <laughs> you've told me this. I guarantee you, since you've told me this, that they've changed that now. And when I go to try it, it's just going to lock up and fucking sack myself, and I'm going to look like an idiot. <laughs> and then you'll get electrocuted to boot. <laughs> I just have a shopping cart wedged in my left nut stuck under that baby seat. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> Gord said it didn't work. But it worked. <laughs> Ouch, my balls. My balls hurt. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to call for um, um so yeah so there's there's very little news to talk about that isn't corona related but there are a couple of things um one of the first things is is that's that's been getting huge news around right now there's two things relating to the same topic uh the first one is that uh, trump had ordered uh 3m that is in the u.s that is making the um n95 respirator masks He's ordered them to not ship their stuff to Mexico or Canada to only supply the U.S. under the wartime, the Korean wartime uh, law that he has access to, he is able to do. Now, of course, Canadians are up in arms saying, well, not only is this bullshit, but what Trump hasn't thought of, which are kind of a few factors, one being the fact that Canada has sent over a thousand nurses over to work in Michigan. Uh, if we pull them back, Michigan's fucked. Um, yep. You know, and we could certainly use the nurses uh, up here. So uh, there's that. And the fact that the pulp mill that produces the pulp they use to make those masks is in Canada. <laughs> so all we got to do is just stop producing the pulp for them and then we'll get any more masks. So it's a yeah. bit of a stupid thing. I also heard – now. Uh... Not, not, not the, uh, another thing that I just heard offside of that is we don't get a lot of our masks from 3M anyway. No. Um, uh, we the have bulk of supplies. everybody gets it's... everything from China. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which, it doesn't always make me feel like super secure. Wait a minute. We got the, the, the oh. virus from them. We're getting all our safety equipment from them. I don't know how this works mm-hmm. well. Exactly. All the testing kits, everything that there is about this about this virus that will help combat it, all comes from the country that created it. That well, it. it makes sense, but it sucks. Yeah. So it's a little fucked. So on that, now keep in mind also with that, Trump also diverted a plane full of supplies that was going from Japan to, I believe it was Germany. I can't remember specifically what country it was going to, uh, but it was full of, uh, I believe it was full of, it was full of medical supplies going to wherever. And Trump diverted the whole plane to land in the U S so they could get a hold of the supplies. This actually happened. The president of said country lost his shit and said, this is fucking piracy. You can't do this. You had no right to take all that. And so, so it's just two of the things that Trump's done to look out for America as number one. Now, a buddy of mine had posted a link online about the 3M thing, 
And this jerk off, and I'm going to call him out because fuck him, the guy's a douchebag. His name is Jim O'Neill. Jim, you're a fucking moron. Um, he starts his out by saying, typical leftist news sort, what the journalist in quotes fails to mention is that the U.S. desperately is desperately short on masks and ventilators, and 3M is shipping their high-quality products out of the U.S. at top dollar and bringing in shitty Chinese products for the U.S. Americans. I mean, there's so much wrong with that statement on its own anyways. Um but, you know, one of my buddies initially, the guy who made the post, he gets into it with him just saying, you know, we fought two world wars together. You know, when 9-11 happened, we took in thousands of your people. You know, we did all this on order. We didn't ask for anything back. We didn't ask for, you know, rep- uh, uh, money back for taking care of all your citizens. That's just what we did because we're we're supposed to be partners. We're supposed to be equals in this thing. And you guys are fucking us. So go fuck yourselves, basically. Yeah. So this guy goes back and forth, and he goes on, and one of the things that he said, he claimed that um, this guy, Jim O'Neill, he had actually claimed that the big problem is that 3M was selling to other – the reason 3M was not – or 3M is not sending stuff to states in the U.S., Because they're going to the highest bidder outside of the country. Right? This is what he this is what this guy claimed. Right. So um so he goes on about this thing. He says, you know, um I said to him, I said, Can you provide any proof of your claim that 3M is greedy? You've talked a lot of shit but provided zero evidence. Please provide some form of proof. So he messaged me me back afterwards, but an hour later, and he says, Do your own homework. I'm not your mommy. So fair right, right away, you know, right, fair enough, but still fuck you. You're asking everybody else to cite shit. And then when, when you, some, somebody asks you to cite it, you won't fucking do it. You're, you're a prick. So I did, I went out and I fucking found it. And I found the only single, only news source available on the internet that cooperated with part of what he said. It was from Fox news. And the whole thing was in Florida because the governor of Florida was complaining to 3M saying, well, I want to get some masks. And 3M is like, fuck you. We don't have any to give you. We've got all these orders that everybody else has paid for and ordered and paid for that we're trying to make to ship out before any new orders can be made, taken, and then supplied to. Yeah. So you're not getting any of our masks. So none of this has anything to do with price gouging. None of this has anything to do with going to the highest bidder. None of this has anything to do with them saying, we have the stockpile, but we're just not giving it to you. So there's three major points right there and there that proves this guy's a fucking idiot. So so I so I pointed this out to him. And I like I'll, my actual reply was, because he says, he goes, do your own homework. I said, I did. The only thing I found that, was through Fox News, and it was the governor of Florida making the claims. few issues with this. Number one, fuck that idiot for not taking this seriously earlier. Well, true enough, right? Florida is so far behind on everything they're doing in containment to this virus, and, well, fuck them. Uh, nowhere anywhere in the article was it stated that anything went to a high, the highest bidder. And then three, they were dealing with everyone else that had the brains to begin ordering before this moron running Florida did. Since scouring the internet and this being the only source of your claim and you not willing to prove your source, I can only assume that this is your source. This proves beyond a reasonable doubt, sir. Or this proves beyond a reasonable doubt that you, sir, are an idiot. You see one thing and make your own conclusions. In other words, fake news. Well done. His response back. What a pervasive argument. Remember to call Fox News faux news. Keep in mind, I didn't knock the news source anywhere. All I said was where I found it. Right. Yep. He goes, it will impress. Yeah, he goes, it will impress your, your fellow lefties. You didn't scour for more than 30 seconds, which is a typical attention span of someone of your intelligence. One day with the help of someone who has a clue, you can dislodge your head from your arse and learn to research. Good day. So doesn't just prove anything I say, has no argument back for anything and still refuses to cite any form of an argument or any form of a source to say where he got his new source from 
Tell me yeah, again that I'm fucking wrong. That's how the internet works. Mm-hmm. That's that's internet chit chat. It's just fucking trolls arguing with trolls. You're never gonna win. Like you don't you don't win these fights. You just walk away feeling dirtier than when you began them. It's oh, guys I, like that. They're, they're like they spend their their this social distancing thing is perfect for these kind of guys because they just love the idea of sitting at home and just being shitty on the internet all day. They used to have to take a break yep. to go to work. Now they don't have to. They get to do this to people all day long. <laughs> Twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> but yeah, I just I just love the response there. What a here's, pervasive well, argument. Here's the problem with the whole Trump uh diverting the plane thing. Um mm-hmm. and okay, you play you we'll we'll do a little role playing today. Because okay. we have no okay. news, so you be the guy from the country that's mad who who the plane was okay. supp- was meant for, and I'll be Trump. Yep, I'll be like, okay. hello. <laughs> okay, hey, you ready? Hey, this is the Donald. What do you need? <laughs> <laughs> I want my goddamn masks. Why would you take my mask from me? Uh, because I can. But you can't. That is literally privacy. You are literally breaking international law by taking it. So do something about it. I can't because all of our core systems are closed because of the virus. Yeah. All right. So good talk. Bye. You're a dick. <laughs> that's that's the problem with Trump. You, it doesn't matter. What are you going to do? You're going to attack America? <laughs> he knows. Trump knows what's up. He's like, what? Yeah, I took your plane. Do something. What are you going <laughs> to do, really? do about it? Yeah. <laughs> bomb America? No, that's never going to happen. So, whatever. I got your plane. You got dick. Enjoy your no masks. <laughs> First, it's a shit thing. I'm not saying he's right. I hope those masks have fucking smallpox in them now, but... <laughs> he's, he can do it and he know that's how that's how he's played this game the whole time and that's why he's catching people off guard no one know what to because no one knows how to deal with that everyone thinks that yeah. you're just gonna follow these rules that they made up 70 years ago in the fucking Hague he doesn't even know where the Hague is he doesn't know any of this shit he's just like what it's not my rules we made a rule I wasn't at that meeting sorry it's not my rule it's not my rule I didn't make it <laughs> Oh, there. And, and people don't know. They're, like, stunned, and they don't know what to do, and they just fucking let it go. Look at the whole collusion <laughs> thing. I didn't do it. Yes, you did. Okay, I did. Now what? <laughs> Let's all get oh, back you guys, to work. You, you, you guys want to throw a court case? Okay, the people who could swear against me are not allowed to testify. Now what are you going to do? Nothing. It's, didn't think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to really uh, appreciate his approach. I really am. Because it, it's just, it's get back to work. It's my fucking approach. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I did that. Now what? Okay, get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, it's, just, it's, it's, it's just insanity, though. I mean, it really is. And I think in the long run, depending how all this thing pans out, of course, but in the long run, this is just, this could end up decimating America as a country. Uh, it, it, it will, it, it can, but it probably won't because there's a flip side to that coin. Right. There's a very optimistic side to this coin that people aren't seeing the, that? you know, we've been sitting, we haven't had, whenever you ask someone what the greatest invention is, what do they say? The printing press or the, uh, antibiotics. The they don't say anything that's been invented <laughs> in the last 200 fucking years. We've been sitting, we're just stagnant. We don't invent anymore. We don't create. We just sit on what we've got. We go, this is it. Let's get fat. Watch Netflix. But, like, Skype is a really good example. Skype's been shitty since the day one. How long has Skype been around? Ten years? Fifteen? Long time. And, yeah. and, it, and it's sucked the whole time. And people go, Skype sucks. And Skype goes, yeah. <laughs> but we're the only one. <laughs> so there you go. You can use it or not. <laughs> and we go, but... What we're going to see, right, what we've really had to depend on in the last two, three weeks is AI. We've, we, you realize how important AI is to your life um, on a small level, but it's good to develop because of this. Uh, the, the teleconferencing, things like Zoom and Skype and shit, you're going to see a 2.0 like you've never seen before come out this year. I promise you that. 
with Zoom and Skype and Zencaster and all these fucking things, they're all going to be yeah. leaps and bounds of where they were this year. The next year model is going to be incredible. We're going to see all kinds of innovations come out of this fucking thing. 